Hi my angel, welcome back. I'm gonna be sharing with you how I achieved this $2.50 look using Dollar Tree nails. It's so easy and so effortless. Now they come 12 per pack, so you have to buy two. Buying one only costs your dollar and 25 cents. But I'm gonna start off. These are what my nails are looking like. They're not too bad. And I get a lot of comments and questions on do press on nails harm your nails and me personally no i actually think it's more natural than using gel or acrylic so i'm just going to be filing my nails down and i'm doing this so that when i apply the glue on my nails it has something to adhere to when your nails are shiny and soft the glue won't stick so that's why you'll notice your nails popping off but when you are making these ridges in your nails it's creating um it's making it rough so when the glue adheres to it the false nail can actually grip onto something next i'm just going to be filing down my nails now you don't have to do this step but i like to do it depending on the style and color of my nails typically i always go for a short and french tip with those colors typically you will see more imperfections because the color is so sheer and also because of the length i don't want my natural nails to be longer and poking out above the short french tips you know so I'm just filing them down, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just, you know, doing whatever I feel as though is neat. I'm just showing you how my nails are looking. They are buffed, as you can see, as well as filed down, no perfection. You know, this is just to prep ourselves for the actual adhering process. Now moving along to dehydrating your nails. Now, if you go to the nail salon, you'll most of the time see that they will remove any access with alcohol or nail polish remover this is good for dehydrating your nail and removing any excess oils water debris from the nail being filed i don't wash my hands because honestly i find that just using rubbing alcohol just takes everything away i don't really need to wash my hands unless something really occurs but most of the time i just wipe them off with rubbing alcohol it gets the job done When I saw these in Dollar Tree, I was so freaking happy. I didn't know they had this good of press-ons. The only thing that I would say is they are pretty thin. They're not as thicker as like Kiss or OPI nails, but they still get the job done. Now, this is one of the most important parts. I like to size up when I am measuring out my press-on nails against my natural nail because I find as though if you size up, if you can't find something that fits you, sizing up, I can always file it down. But in this next clip, I'm gonna be showing you what it looks like if you size down. Now, I know a lot of people say size down. It just doesn't work for me. I find that they pop off even faster. As you can see, this nail is a little bit too small. And when it has that room, I find that water gets underneath my nail which causes it to turn green and that is not what you want when you are dealing with a small press on nail allowing water to seep through your nail from washing or taking a shower or doing dishes. Size up and if anything file it down to your correct sizing. Luckily all the nails fit me perfectly so now I am just going to be measuring them all out and laying them left to right for each hand and unfortunately the Dollar Tree nails do not come with glue so you may have to purchase this separately well you do and they do have some at the store but my all-time favorite glue is from Kiss so I stock up on these now this is the most important part applying the glue so I like to apply the glue in the center of my nail and a little bit towards my nail bed I will explain to you why I do as such and I always make sure that I have enough glue on my nail i hate when i don't apply enough because my nails are sheer and see-through you want to make sure that when you're dealing with nude colors pinkish colors that are see-through that you're applying enough glue because i've made this mistake a lot and i will show you so now when i have my nail i allow the glue to dry a little bit and i push my nail back on top of the glue of course and then I mesh it all together this way no water is able to seep through I'm hitting all of those corners so it's locking 
that in and now I'm just holding it in place for about 30 to 60 seconds making sure that it is completely dry and I wiggle my finger back and forth on top of it because you'll see why I keep trying to tell you please make sure that you put enough glue because if you don't it's gonna look like air bubbles so I want to make sure I'm pushing all those air bubbles out making sure that the nail is covered in the glue And unfortunately, this is what it looks like if you don't apply enough pressure or enough glue. Sometimes you can get away with applying it on the nail as well, but I didn't want to make a mess. When I do that, I tend to use overused glue. So this time I'm just applying it on my nail, but you can apply it on your nail and also the press on nail as well. Now I'm showing you again step by step how I do this. I am first starting off by putting glue on the center of my nail and then spreading that around making sure pushing my nail back and then holding it for about 30 to 60 seconds wiggling it around to push out all those air bubbles checking on it just to make sure that everything is good and then if you do get access just wipe it off with a napkin. all right i am done applying the same process to both hands now this is a result of me not applying that much pressure or glue do you see how that looks like an air bubble and then these nails are so good this glue is really really good i can't even take it off so i'm stuck with this result i'm going to show a comparison of an air bubble versus what it looks like when you completely are able to achieve the mastered look but overall they turned out so freaking good i mean you can't tell unless you're really staring at someone's hands they look so natural and it looks like i just got a freaking manicure my nails look gorgeous gorgeous and these last me up to two weeks sometimes three but i just cut it off at two weeks most of the time i apply some oil after just to you know hydrate my hands again from using that alcohol but i hope you all enjoyed today's video i love doing my nails they save me so much more money and i just like to pamper myself you all know that of course if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you on my next one ciao Just like magic, just like magic.